Good morning from the allotment. Thought I'd come down before the festive break um, and just walk you through um, the allotment, just highlighting some of the jobs that um, need doing. Um, I'm going to try and do before now and the uh, between now and the uh, the planting, uh, the seed sowing season. Um, these two cordial lines, I forgot to wrap them up. Um, and they're looking a little bit worse for wear. Um, I will wrap them, put a bit of fleece over them, and hopefully they will they will survive. Um, but I'm thinking of moving them anyway and putting some fruit in here. Um, so I'm going to get on with that. One of the main jobs that I need to do, and I've put it off year after year, is this flower bed. Or this is the garden area of the plot, if you like, um, and also on this side here. Um, need a lot of work. Um, there's a lot of Montbrecia in there, um, so I need to really separate those bulbs and get that tidied up. And then moving on here to the herb part of the garden. Um, that sage there needs a serious pruning back, as do some of these, the thyme and the rosemary. Um, so they're on the on the list. The overwintering onions there doing quite well. After that really really hard frost, they were just laid on the floor, but they've soon perked back up. Um, got some over here as well um, that are looking okay. Um, the majority are white. I think I've got a few rows of red here. Um, the remainder of the carrots, um, which we'll be harvesting for Christmas lunch. Um, so that'll be a job that I'll probably, I may nip down tomorrow and, and, and do that. Might even do it Christmas morning. Uh, give me a bit of fresh air. Got a load of leaves that I collected up that I've just laid on this bed, really, to protect the soil. So what I'm probably going to do is just rotivate that in. Um, when we get a nice drying, dry sort of day, just to get that um, dug in there. Uh, I've got some nice leeks over here that are doing well. One or two have bolted, but um, I'm going to start taking some of those out um, and getting them in the freezer before they go off. Sprouts being marmalised by the uh, the um, the pigeons, and um, there are still one or two good. Uh, sprouts on there um, which again I'll be taking for the Christmas table this net tunnel is going to get moved shortly um, once the sprouts have been harvested and it's simply just going to move literally across to this bed here um, and then where the net tunnel is is going to be where the potatoes or some of the potatoes go in um, next season all the beds have had soil conditioner on we've got some a mixture between manure um, and leaf mold so not doing too bad I had some celery there being absolutely smashed by the frost smashed so I think that is gonna be composted so nothing gets wasted over here, got some kale. Uncovered it because I've noticed some people on the plot have never had nets over theirs um, and never got touched. Uh, and to be fair, the pigeons didn't touch it. But I think now that food is becoming scarce over the winter period, things that they wouldn't normally take and eat um, at this lean time would probably. Um, I don't to anything really so they've had a go at that but there's still some good leaves on there um, so I'll be taking those I've got these conifers that I put up when I first got the plot probably what five years ago um, I don't want them to get too tall obviously they're quite close to some of the beds there so I don't want them taking the nutrients from whatever is going to be growing in there so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep them pruned down um, I'm going to shape them uh, just to add a little bit of a little bit of height to the back of the plot. I don't know if I mentioned in one of my last videos, but I had, I think I'm not sure if it was three or four, um, 
canners and basically all those there and I believe there's 14 I've taken cuttings or, or I've divided should I say I've divided them um, and they're going to get fleeced over and put underneath the bench along with my cordy lines there uh, just for some protection so hopefully um, they'll be all in pots around the allotment and around the garden the strawberries there um, not giving them too much water but they seem to be doing okay I'm sure they'll pick back up once we get into warmer into warmer climes a um, couple of buddlier um, but I had to move um, from the bottom of the allotment because it was waterlogged and really were worried at that time where I could put them so I thought what I'll do is I'll put them up I'll bring them into the greenhouse and I'll just make that decision um, when I come to it maybe a bit later on this bag is full of sawdust so that's going to go over some of my dahlias that I've got storing in the shed so we'll move around onto the back half of the plot this is where my sunflowers go I'm not sure if I'm putting them there again this year um, I'm thinking of putting a sweet, sweet pea frame behind that panel and, and I think there's some sweet peas there so you get a nice scented sweet smell when you're sat drinking your cup of tea on the table and chairs there here I've marked out where the new greenhouse is going to go when I say new it's second hand um, as you can see we've got a cane here so it's going to run all the way down there across to here all the way down there and across there the entrance is going to be in here <coughs> so these beds have got to come out and be moved um, and as I say that greenhouse is going to have planting beds in it um, tomatoes and peppers chilies and such like will be going in there storage shed not much planned for that really uh, the only thing I have got um, is I've got a a log burner no log burner so I'm thinking that table's going to move and I'm going to sort of slot it in that corner there and take it up through the roof um, and that can be a little bit of a warm spot in the winter or somewhere where I can boil the kettle <coughs> The garlic's doing okay. Now this is where I moved the buddleia from. It gets really, really wet here. Really, really wet. Um, it seems to run down from the top of the plot and comes all the way down into here. So that bed, I'm thinking, I'm going to ask permission because we're not allowed really sort of hard foundations, but I'm going to ask if I can build a just one course high of solid block and then fill that with um, drainage and then on top of that then a mixture of compost horse manure um, and leaf mold and, and bring it up probably maybe two foot two and a half feet um, and then at least you know the roots um, are not going to be sat <coughs> in amongst that if the committee don't let me then what I'll probably do is I'll probably just look at putting some, um, you know, um, plants that, that that like wet feet, uh, such as legal area and things like that, and just make it a bit of an ornate border. <coughs> the last few of my parsnips in there, again, they'll be harvested in the next day to take home for the Christmas table. Um, once I've done that, I'm going to get some um, leaf mold put in those, mixed in with um, compost. Um, as you can see here, these are my dahlia beds, this one here and that one over there. Um, and you can see there I've got leaf mold ready to be spread across it. Um, and hey, you up, Clarkson's here. I've been looking for Clarkson for the last, I've not seen him since Sunday. And he has turned up, so that's good news. So he's going to mither me now until I finish this video, but he's going to have to wait. You're gonna have to wait, Clarky. Yep, I know you're probably hungry, but you're gonna have to wait just two minutes. So yeah, so as I say, these are my dahlia beds. 
they're all prepped ready um, within there I've got six fruit trees as you can see there's one here which I believe is an apple plum I think pear I think apple I think, and there's a cherry and a, a nectarine um, I got these off Gardening Express quite a good price really I think it was 29.99 I got them last year so they're only pillar fruit trees so they're not things that are going to go absolutely huge which I don't want I've got two fruit trees here an apple tree there and also this big one here and to be fair they've just been left to do what they want for the last 10-15 years or so so I'm going to have to look at some pruning of those I've got a nice table here a local pub donated a few of those tables to the allotment um, so I put an offer in to get one where I'm going to put that I'm not sure I'm not sure so as you can see the loading bay work that I've been doing in the past what I've done for now is I've split the loading bay into three uh, because I've got my leaf mold delivery or I already had my leaf mold delivery and as, you, as I just showed you there a lot of that's been spread on the plot so I've split that down into three because the leaf mold won't come again now until next November-ish, something like that. So I split it into three beds. That's the remainder of the leaf mold. This is some wood chip that we delivered. Um, and I'm going to go get a few more barrels of that today. Um, and then that's manure. Um, as I did, I showed you the other day, I moved the compost bins. But what I've done is... I've moved, there was one there where that beacon is, um, or cone, I keep calling them beacons, I don't know why, that cone, um, and just to make access a little bit easier, I've moved it across to there, so now I can just remove that cone and we'll get a better swing in. Obviously, when I get a delivery, I've got to move my fire pit, but that's a two minute job, so it's not too bad. So overall... Um, that's where we are um, I'll be starting seed sowing in January with my chilies um, and peppers which take quite a lot a long time to germinate so they'll be going on at home um, until they're ready um, to be brought down and, and put in the greenhouse in the propagator so that's about it from me um, I hope everybody has a, a very festive and enjoyable Christmas I know times are hard um, which is a real shame um, but I hope everybody just does the best we get through it and we all meet up again in 2023 so I won't be putting any videos out now until then so until then Merry Christmas Happy New Year and enjoy take care